You still want to say golf is easy, bro? Loving the fade, dude. Going on a little embed adventure here, guys. Stay connected. Struggling out there, but it is what it is. It happens out here. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's challenge, we're gonna be doing fades only. For every draw that I hit, I gotta go down and pop 20 push-ups. We might get jacked today, but that's not the intention. The intention is to hit fades. We're gonna make sure we're connected out here. We're seeing the shots we wanna see and uh, executing them. Let's get started. That's a beautiful fade to start the day. I wanna be seeing that a lot today. A lot. We got 168 yards here. I got my eight irons. It's with the irons mostly that I struggle with the fades. The only thing that matters with a fade is your club path going left and your face kind of like being shut at impact so it starts left enough. Because if your club face is open at impact, it starts right and then goes right. I want to make sure at least the club path is going left and we can figure it out from there. that I love that so much got about a 10 footer there for birdie the putts don't really matter in this round but I want to see how low I can go hitting fades all right we got about 20 feet here a little short I mean the fade does go a little shorter we're on the green we're putting great Dude, is it just the perfect day out here not a single cloud in the sky nor a single person out here just just connected I can putt there. I'll take a tap in par there and a couple of fades. So we're two for two so far on hitting fades. We're off to a good start. No push-ups yet. Second hole here. I got a two iron out. It's pretty short. I'm liking my chances with this two iron. I think it's fine. A little too much fade there, but it faded. That's the only intention. Now, it's actually something really funny and I wanna to touch on this. When you're playing games like this, where you have to set an intention for a hole or like for an entire round, it's actually quite interesting to see how am I reacting to these shots? Am I pissed off because that's a bad shot? It wasn't the best shot, but my intention was to fade it. I accomplished my intention. Looks like we're over here. I saw it as we were talking. That ain't it. Oh, over there. That ain't it either. Probably so gone. Going on a little embed adventure here, guys. Alright guys, looks like it might have just trickled in there. I'm gonna take a drop. I got 140, hidden pitching wedge. Again, just fading it. The only intention. See the shot, feel the shot. That was a nice fade. Really nice fade there. I like that one. So I got about another 20 footer here, right to left. Breaks a lot actually, so we're gonna have to play this one pretty high. All right, that's a bogey, generous bogey. But that's two more fades, so we're good. We're four for four on the fades. No push ups so far. Par five here, 535, reachable in two. And with two fades, I'll be able to land there pretty nice and soft. Mm. Loving this fade, dude. Perfect down the middle there. This is gonna definitely benefit the game. I'm telling you guys, you, you guys should definitely try this game at home. Just try to hit fades, fades only. Hmm, interesting play here. I could go for it, or I could lay up. If I go for it, it's gonna be, have to be like a high cut three wood, which is like not an ideal shot. The ideal shot here would be a low draw two iron. We're gonna lay up, guys. Make sure I fade it. Give myself three shots on this hole. All right, it faded. Down the middle. 
I'm just so mesmerized by the fact that there's not a single cloud in the sky today. Wow. Does that turn you on? It really does. This, this type of connection, guys, is just like on another level. Got 107 yards. Since I'm going with the fade, I have been seeing these last two shots going a little shorter than normal. So I'm gonna take the 50, my 120 club, and hit a fade in there. It's gonna be interesting, hitting a fade with a wedge. It's gonna take a lot of swinging left to make it actually happen. You know, the, the higher the loft, the harder it is to actually curve the ball. All right, it spun right, so there was some fade into it. About a yard though, not much. We're pretty much pin high, a little left, about 15 feet. Let's go make that. A little two putt par there, not bad. Three fades there, so now I'm seven for seven. I'm loving this game so far. I really want to apply this into my actual tournament golf. We got a 200 yard par three here, fourth hole. I'm going with five iron since I'm hitting that fade. It's gonna go a little less. I'm actually gonna talk to you guys through about where I position myself on the tee box and how that affects the actual shot shape that you're gonna hit. So here, as you can see, I'm on the right side of the tee box and angling myself left of the hole. The pin here is, is in the front right and I'm actually aiming more towards the left center of the green and fading it off there. And this gives me the best angle to actually attack that. And we'll go ahead and pop some 20 push-ups right here. That was like dead straight, but I didn't really love that shot, so I'm gonna give it to you guys. <sighs> nice and easy. All right, seven for eight. Par three got me. Good putt there. The wet into the grain Bermuda got me. What a surprise. All right, seven for eight. Let's see what we can do on the next. Yo, comment below guys if you're a soft pillow sleeper or a hard pillow sleeper. This guy's a hard pillow sleeper. What That's is the way that? it has to be. Chris, we, we just got Chris out here. Welcome to the channel. What's up? Let me shake the camera's hand. What's going on? Oh, Chris? Yeah. There we go. What's up? What up? What up? We're Yo, off a cruise right now. He's off a cruise. What pillow did you use on the cruise? Soft or hard? I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't really use a pillow. The pillow sleeps on me. I put it on top of my wow, head. Wow, wow. Just to quiet the noise. I, I just put it over my head. So pillow sleep, sleeps on him. When you're in law school, there's not much sleeping anyway, so. Yeah, we just, you're working 24 seven, seven days a week, 25 eight, you're working. We're working. Evni, coming soon, golf bags. Link in the description below, so you can cop your own, so. Go over there, check them out. 369 yard par four here. I got driver. Only playing a game where I hit fate. If I don't hit a fade, I gotta do 20 push-ups. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna indulge in that uh, challenge. I don't think I can even do like five push-ups. <laughs> we might get him on the challenge then. All right, fade, you little ball. All right, it's safe. A little right, but it's fading. I'm making sure that baby's fading. We got 118 yards here. I, I wanna tap into something first though, guys. This game, it's about hitting fades, but it's also about being able to control the fade, which if you've seen a couple of the shots that have been going way right, not beneficial. Finding that fine line where that ball is still fading, but not slicing. There was like a fade borderline slice. It started left edge of the fairway and over here. You got a mud ball. Actually, it's not mud. A little leaf so we're good now I got to go over this tree and fade it this sucks god 
What am I at? Like 8, 17? Like 12. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Yeah, it's hard to hit a fade when you're trying to hit it really high. Bit of an interesting stance here. All right, another bogey, obviously not ideal. We're working on it though. You know, I've missed a couple that are just went straight left and didn't come back, and then missed a few that just overfaded on me. I think the overfade has been more of the issue. Sixth hole here, 474 yards, par five, par four. It's a beast. So started on the car path, faded about five yards, and then like kicked a little left. I think it just trickled into the car path, but honestly, I'll take it on this hole. Whoever's played this hole, you know. It's not an easy one. Wow, this is crazy. This drive just went like 400 yards. I think it just it just kept trickling on the car path. I got 105 yards in. It was 474 from the tee box. Unbelievable. Thanks to the car path for it, but now I gotta hit a cut with a 50 degree. Another thing, it is harder to hit a fade out of the rough because usually kind of like turns the club face over. So I want to make sure I'm staying connected here and keeping that face square and club path moving left. That's the key to a fade. Yes, it faded. All right, so we're just a little short, but it's fine. Hey, there we go, Chris struggling out there. But it is what it is. It happens out here. Golf is not an easy sport, guys. What these games do, at least for me, it makes it a little bit more challenging, but it makes me focus a little more on a single intention. That was a good roll. It was a great roll. I would have taken a four from that tee box any day of the week, though, so. So far, nine for 11, so not bad, not bad. We gotta stay on track. We got some fans over there, we gotta go say hi. Gotta be a man in the community if he's a connected golfer. Yo! How we doing? All right, you see that nice, nice tall staying connected? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 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 I technically would be the 1% of golfers because I'm able to what, break 90s, 1%? I don't know what the number is. But it's if it's that bad, then <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying, imagine if, I, if, if me, I suck and am in that range, then this guy's the 1% of the 1%. You're shooting in the 60s, low 70s. You can shoot in the 60s. I mean, um, 70s. I think I'm like three over today. So but how 99%. does it feel being part of the 1% of the 1%? I mean, I never thought of it, thought of it like that because, you know, I've grown up playing the game since so I was three years old. Always really playing at a pretty decent level. Won my first like four tournaments. And then from there just kept competing. Always competing against like the best players. Junior golf, I was invited to like the top tournaments. Won a couple national tournaments and uh, like AJGA events, best league. My focus is more on beating that 1% rather than thinking I'm the 1% of the 1%. This guy, this guy talk some shit. So we got 156 here. I'm gonna go with eight iron, soft fade. I got no other option. That's a beautiful little fade there. I'm trying to get it back to even now. We're what? I think three over, I believe. Let's get on the birdie run on this back six. I want you guys to comment down below what type of challenges, crazy stunts you want me to do. We could do something crazier. And I'm about it, bro. I don't know. All right, that's a wrap for this hole. Misread it there, I thought it was gonna break a little more, just didn't, but I gave myself a good look. I hit a good quality iron shot there that faded about five yards. I'm happy with it. 
We're 10 for 12, so let's keep it rolling. Are you having problems making rash decisions when you're under pressure playing around the golf? Maybe you shouldn't be using top flights. I think you should use a Pro B1 and try to lose this, see how your wallet hurts. Maybe you might not make so much stupid decisions, right? Right? Stay connected out there, guys. Stay connected, financial connection. A 363 yard par four here. I got a two iron, nothing crazy. I just gotta make sure the fade starts low enough so I go under the street and fade it into the fairway. Ah, uh, it faded, it's fading. Kinda missed it under that tree, but then I found it and it was fading just a little bit. Just went under that tree. I mean, like I told you guys, I would never hit a fade on this hole. To draw a hole for me. We got 152 yards here up the hill playing like 55 but it's also in the rough so it's gonna pop a little bit. I'm gonna play it like 50. So that's a nine iron for me. The nine iron fade goes around 55 so a little sawed out. Hey! 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 Okay, needs to, needs to chill it out for the fans at home man. Come on. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you go. Alright, back to the good audio. Come on, man. Go! Alright. I really like that shot because I missed it right of the hole, below the hole, about 20 feet, and it faded like 10 yards. I like that I'm now starting to feel really comfortable with this part of the swing, you know? right when the club is getting to impact and releasing, kind of moving those hands a little left so that it can trigger that fade effect. Oh, oh. All right, a little par there, another one. Thought I had that birdie putt, but I'll take a par. I think I played that hole pretty good. A couple of fades now. 13, 4, 15. This guy thinks he can smoke this course. 100%. I think it's time for you to smoke a cigar though. Yeah, bro, I'm beat. <laughs> I'm beat, man. <laughs> like but, Leo, I'm telling you, I could beat you within a week. Look, like I, I love the self-belief, Hazen, but. I'm connected. Connected to the wrong things out here. The number one rule in golf, you gotta be humble. The game will silence you in a second. Man. I'm actually a lefty writing in a righty plane. So, so that's I, why you I have the have control that. over your, your forward hand, your, gl your glove you, hand. You're just more aware of more parts of your body is what it is. That's literally what it is. I still you, suck. You, so, <laughs> but I am, a, I am a lefty lefty. I'm not a lefty right. So he's an authentic lefty. I'm you're more so a fake lefty. I'm an, you're I'm, not I'm, really a real lefty. He's I'm, the real lefty. You're not a real lefty. Yeah, I'm ambidextrous. So that's what it is. Throwing Pick out, a side, bro. Throwing out vocabulary out here, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, it's hot out here, man. This guy just needs to shed a couple, but that's it. <laughs> Par four here, 409 yards. I'm going with three wood because usually with a fade, if I hit driver, I might reach that right side, that water. So that's no good. Yep, that's fine. It's short of the palm trees. That went about 230 yards with a three wood. Me, we're gonna we're gonna be filming this shot let for. Me, let, me, let me unlock the gas. Let me unlock it. Oh, I pulled it. <laughs> and I hit it it's so in the middle of the water, guys. <laughs> and I hit it so hard, bro. Damn, five dollars. That's what happens when you start swinging out of your shoes. Yeah, gotta be. It happens when the oh. ego gets in the way. Golf humbles you, ladies and gentlemen. 194 yards here. I'm going with the five iron, plus the fade is gonna go more, less, so more, less. Is, is that a word? I don't know, I guess it is. It says 173 on the cart. All right, maybe have to reassess that. Whoa, then. whoa, 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 hey, check his numbers, check his numbers. You're right, it's 167. <laughs> I know he doesn't do his taxes. <laughs> Short. Uh, it's, on the, it's on the fringe, greenish. It's not bad though, I hit the fade. It was a nice one, a little low one, good stuff. I'm 13 for 15 now. I think I miscalculated uh, previously. You know, math isn't really my thing. Ah, it looks like we're on the green, so it wasn't short.
All right, good save there. When it comes to golf, keep your mouth shut. Oh man, golf? We've been through this already, Leo. How many times do we have to go through this? Give me a week and, and it's wraps for you, bro. Dude, I, I can't talk shit about your, your, your game, but I can talk shit about your golf game. I've watched I, Happy I Gilmore. I got I all the lessons I need. And I went to Top Golf once. Give it a couple decades and you'll be there. A couple decades? Give me a couple weeks and I'm already at your level. Hitting black tees right here. You see guys, this is the, the common misconception that we see a lot of amateur golfers having. Right before they, they take up the game, they're like, this game's easy. I'm gonna, just a little white ball, a stick, and a hole. It's hard. I'm not even supposed to be playing from here. I'm supposed to be playing from the gold tees. A little too much sauce on that one. 153 yards here in the rough, so it's gonna pop a little bit, as we've said in previous shots, but I got a nine iron here. Hitting the fade again. You good over there? Golf is hard, guys. Golf is hard. Uh, all right, it faded. I just hit it too soft there. It's about five yards short of the green, and I gotta chip at it. You still want to say golf is easy, bro? Extremely. I would have made that. I don't know. I, that would have been easy for me. I don't know. What the f this game is brutal, guys. Obviously, I'm not expecting to make that, but I mean, that's just a beautiful roll. So we got a 515-yard hole here, 11th hole. So far, I'm at 15 for 17. We got two more holes left. On this hole, though, water to left means I got to start it kind of like over the water and fade it off. It takes a lot of commitment here. Very important to see that shot and believe that you can execute it. Overfaded a little bit, but down the right side in the rough, it's fine. So we got 230 to the flag, and we got a very severe side hill lie. Thankfully though, it's this type of lie, so it's really easy to hit the fade. The key here though, probably, is just to not overfade it. There's water right. We want to keep that face square, not have it turn over, but not really hold it off to a point where it goes way right and we lose it. The beauty right there on the surface baby i'm gonna get a feel for the putt if it goes in it goes in results they're out there control what's inside like that was a great roll but i'm not gonna get pissed and be like damn bro should have made that come on i'm affecting my inner state for no reason stay connected out there guys stick to your routine and make tap in birdies that's what it's all about we are on the last hole here, guys. I appreciate every one of you guys for sticking till this part of the video. We got one more, and it's a fade bias hole. Even if I wasn't playing this game, I'd have to hit two fades here. It's pretty good. It's all about here not overdoing it, though, which has been a common thing. So we're 17 for 19 here. Got two more shots, so a total of 21 shots here today. Pretty solid attempt at this, at this game. Dude. Uh, I think first I, drive of the day, it didn't fade. I think he uh, he did a reel not too long ago for Instagram at that same tree. It's kind of popular for him. Uh, that's I tough. was 15. That was 20. I was counting the whole time. I swear I counted 20. That was tough though. On a tee shot like this, honestly, it's a fade tee shot, but it's one of those that you don't, you can't fade too much or else you're just completely blocked. All right, we got 207. I got the five iron, really thick stuff. Again, hard to hit a fade out of this stuff because the club gets stuck and kind of turns over. So got to make sure we're keeping that face square and that club head or club path moving left. All right, it definitely faded, but it kind of went through the tree. It was so hard to get that five iron through the rough there. House grasses, no joke. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, bro. Wow. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Share this with anybody that needs it. Comment below. Let me know what types of challenges you want to see next. And uh, thank you for watching. Ended up 18 out of 21 fades hit today. Pretty solid. I think I achieved my goal for the challenge. It was pretty fun. Learned a ton. I hope you guys learn as well at home because this game, it really teaches you how to be intentional with your actions and get the most out of your days. So stay connected out there and I'll see you next time.